Okay, today's video I'll be reviewing the H2 Neo rubbers I just picked up from Brybar Table Tennis. So, I'm going to split this video up into five portions. Number one, I'm going to be going over forehand drive. Two will be top spin. Three will be short touch play and control. Number four will be service. And number five will be an overall summary of the rubber and what sort of player should be using this. Okay, in the first test, I'm going to see how the rubbers get on with a forehand drive. There's a very loud clicking noise I'm not used to. I guess that's because of the hardness of the rubber. Second thing I noticed is very, very, very good control. Quite slow, but how Chinese rubbers work are basically you get out what you put in. So with a European tensor rubber, you can hit slow, the ball goes quite quick. And when you hit quick, the ball goes a bit quicker. But with the Chinese, you can go much quicker when you're going for your shot full range of motion. Unfortunately, when you're going slow, the ball goes very slow. But ultimately, in the drive and the block, that's good because you get great control. Okay, test number two, forehand top spins. What I'm looking for is a steady replicable shot with good top spin so the ball can dip over the net and land on the table. But also, I want to be able to hit the ball as hard as I can without having the worry of the ball going long. So I'm going to do 20 forehand top spins. very consistent, I'm hitting the ball very hard but still getting the ball on due to the slowness and the grippiness of the rubber, meaning I can hit through the ball as hard as I want and not have to worry about the ball missing long. Okay, test number three is short touch and control. So I'm going to be hitting ten balls, five short touches from the forehand and five forehand flicks. So keep an eye on how much backspin I'm getting, how consistent I am, the control and then on the flicks look at how much topspin I'm able to achieve and how easy I'm able to get power in the flick. Okay, let's have a go. I'm normally very weak on the forehand flick. Forehand touch is quite good, obviously I'm tall so I can get in nice and close. But I was very surprised with my forehand flick, had a great control, very good at getting top spin, and the hardness of the rubber meant that virtually all of my power was transferred into the flick. Okay, test number four, we're going to be doing service. So I'm going to start off with the three most basic forehand serves I'll do, and then we'll go over how I felt doing them. Okay, so that's a backspin serve. We're going to do pendulum now. And we're going to do a fast serve to finish. Okay, so first thing, short backspin serve. That went a little bit long. Probably need to get used to the rubber. However, second one with the pendulum, I found it very, very, very easy to get spin on it. And the ball was nice and low over the net, probably due to Having a short stroke on a Chinese rubber means that the ball's going to go slow, plenty of time for spin and control. First serve, however, as you saw, was very slow. I'm not great at fast serves as it is, it's not really part of my arsenal, but I definitely wouldn't recommend a Chinese rubber if you're looking to do a fast serve. Okay, to conclude my review of the H2 Neo from Bravo Sports, I, um, I've, I really enjoyed the rubber. I found it to be so much better than my old rubber for the control uh, it's got more gears, so when I hit slow, the ball goes slow. I've got good control on blocks, drives, and touches. But when I rip my forehand top spins, I've got a lot more power than I had in my previous rubber. So definitely would buy. Only caveat being, if you're not used to playing with a Chinese rubber, beware. You really have to hit through the ball. 
you can't you can't get away with hitting half shots. So if you're not able to move your feet or you're not an explosive player, I would not use this rubber. However, if you're a forehand attacker, 100%, if you haven't got Chinese rubber, you really need to get it. It will up your game very, very quickly. Okay, thanks for watching my video and thanks for Brybar for supplying me the rubbers.